Danville Signal Processing is a, a long-term ADI partner that specializes in OEM boards, uh, primarily using Shark and also Blackfin processors uh, to serve those micro markets that um, where somebody maybe needs 100 or 200 or something. That threshold where, frankly, it maybe just costs more to design uh, your own, even if you have the skill set, than it take cost to buy a finished, well-tested product from us. One of the things that's been very successful this year has been a production program where specifically to support analog devices, black fins, and sharks. So the DSP Flash is a production tool. Uh, utilizes a Blackfin 532 to program any ADI, DSP, uh, Shark second generation or newer, uh, Blackfin processor, and it programs it via JTAG. So what we have here, we have our Windows program. It runs a standalone Windows program, which eliminates the need to have visual DSP on your production PC, and also utilizes a its own DSP flash dongle. And the DSP flash is actually this. You can see it has different voltage levels. Uh, it supports 3.3, 2.5, 1.8 volt I.O. Automatically senses, uh, just like an emulator. When it comes to the actual programming, when you use the application, first things you have to input are your processor type. Uh, here we're using a BF532. Whether you're using a Spire parallel flash and what chip select you're using. Uh, flash manufacturer, product number, and then your loader file. You can actually do multiple loader files in a single pass with different offsets if you need to load, say, a FPGA configuration as well as your DSP file. Once you're done with that, you can just upload. Uh, after you click upload, you're initialized. After initialization, you're ready to program. So when it comes to programming, all you got to do is simply click the program button if you're using multiple DSP flashes, you can have multiple program buttons and run them in sequence. So as soon as I hit program, we start running a diagnostic program. And when the diagnostic runs, it simply comes back and asks, did you see the lights blink? This allows us to actually prompt the user to confirm that the lights were blinking, because we can't really tell via software. And then we run a second test that just says, did they blink a little bit differently this time? And they did. So then we hit OK, it programs that fast, and your board's ready to go. They're hot swappable, so after you program one board, all you got to do is unplug the JTAG, plug it into the next board, and hit program again. And if you've got your pull-up resistor on pin 5 of JTAG via, or as is spec in the E68, you can actually just start automatic programming mode. It'll wait a second and a half after you plug it in, and automatically start the programming so you don't have to click a single thing. One of the things I find working with analog is that they're very straight, which I think most engineers find refreshing. I, I uh, find when working with analog, a lot of times it's working, it's like a friend working with a friend. Uh, sometimes I'll have a discussion with an analog devices, uh, FAE, or, or one of the product engineers, and we'll talk about something. And, and what I like about that is that um, that we're, you know, we're, we're dealing with just, you know, ideas and solutions and, as, and, and that kind of engineering, engineering thing. And like, let me show what my product is in the same way that I might show a friend something I discovered. Um, and, I, and I think that's refreshing uh, it, with analog. Uh, 